everyone for being here. Really appreciate it. Um, boy, I tell you, this week has really been just ups and downs. I think of it so much like the weather yesterday and today. I mean, it was just beautiful, and then today it's like snowy and nasty. And that seems like that's how this week's been. Um, Pastor Ben asked to share a few things mo- uh, Monday, Tuesday actually, at our amazing praise thing. And, and he wrote a couple things out that he, uh, like, as pointers. So I'll just start off with his, like, question and go from there. He basically asked, like, what were some recent struggles that I've had through the year? And, um, you know, I, I'd like to say that, oh, I, you know, I got out of jail and never went back to drinking ever again, and, and, but that's not true. You know, I, I've struggled quite a bit with it, and uh, it, it still leads into my second one, which is, you know, my marriage and my friends. Uh, you know, it's kind of hard to not have those struggles when you have the other struggle, because they coincide so much together. Um, and then for his second question, he said, in, in what ways have you withheld your gratitude from God and others? And um, it, it was really good. Rabbi Zacharias made two good points in a thing he talked about. He said, first, is knowledge not keeping with reality? And, and what I mean by that is, in my own life, I believe, um, I believe lies, and I don't see the reality that, that Christ shows me. I don't see his truth in my life. And, uh, when I don't see that truth and, and or I'm not able to recognize it, you know, the chaos ensues. Um, you know, and when I, when I say believing lies, believe like, you know, oh, this will bring me comfort, whatever it is. Or, or uh, you know, looking to someone else for my fulfillment, and then when they don't give it to me, lashing out and violence or control to have to try to manipulate it to make it how I think it needs to be so that I'm comfortable again. <laughs> um, the second one he said was hopes dashed with disappointments. And I think we've seen a lot of that this week, uh, you know, like with Chris, Chris B's family. I mean, you know, he went an awesome praise service Tuesday. And then his sister passed, you know, and... and you know, the thing is, is that life is, is full of sin. I mean, I am full of sin, just unbelievably full of sin. And sin, well, it says wages of sin is death. And how, and how do I see that in my life? I see it, it, it killing the things around me. I see it creating such pain for me, which is amazing because it's so paradoxical. You can see how sin controls your mind and God is truth. Because sin tells me the lies that this is how I get love. Or this is how I get comfort. Which is what I want. But God tells me this is, he is what does it. So when I believe the lie, chaos follows. So really what I want is God's way, yet struggle to make it happen in my life. Um, So this leads into the third, how does God give you perspective? uh, Especially focusing you know, on his gospel message. And, you know, I had a thing just recently, back when, I guess I was way more struggling and drugs were added into the picture, I had a good friend of mine named um, Mark. And uh, that's him right there with his grandson. And me and him, were, we were just thick as thieves. I mean, you know, two and a half years, we worked together, we did everything, nonstop. And I uh, found out this week it was, yeah, that he was uh, out at a party and got into a disagreement, and the gentleman pulled a gun and shot him in the head twice. And, uh, you know, it ended him in ICU, and uh, let's see, Wednesday, they ended up having to disconnect him from life support, and he passed. And, uh, you know, when I, when I think of these things, um, like how does God give you perspective? Because God is truth and he is reality. So the, like my disappointments of my friend or, or Chris's disappointment of the death of his sister, um, you know, those disappointments take me a, a, away from the truth and the reality of God. Because I put my hope in them. And disappointment follows. Uh, you know, our friend Marty, I, I just prayed for him. Um, God... Similar to what I'm sharing here, 
forcibly is protecting Marty from himself, just as he continues to forcibly protect me from myself. I look at that where I would have been sorrowful because my friend passed, and I am, but it just like amazed me because you know, I was with the guy all the time, all the time. So why am I here uh, sharing with a loving community and not sitting alongside him dead? Why do I have a blessed wife and family and he's gone? Um, you know, why am I not in, in, in jail? And, and my friend Marty is. And, and I, you know, I think I look to that truly because of God. Because God is truth and reality. And secondly, God is hope, which brings gratitude. Um, you know, getting the proper perspective of this. Like I said, my friend passed. And, 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 and I mean, it's horrible. It's grief. God does not say, oh, I will make, you know, Sorry that, you know, this had to happen, but I got a plan for you. You know, he, he like, the, that he meant that to happen. God does not look at it that way. That is sin, and it pains him, and he does not like it. But through it, God brings hope. He brings hope to the image of the cross, hope that that is not the end. That is not, that is not the end for us, and we can see through the lies of the world that want to deceive me and capture me. And he assists me with those things through the blessing of this community. It's a perfect example of how God aligns me with his truth. Makes me see that life's hard, marriage is hard, I'm hard. <laughs> but yet, God loves me through the entire thing. So, you know, when I look at Knowledge not keeping with reality and the hopes that I have dashed with disappointments. And I can see that God is truth in this reality. I can see God's hope, which brings gratitude and get blessings from his community. Well, what does that mean like from here as I go out? You know, I mean, I can understand intellectually, but what does that mean when I leave here? And I see that truth brings freedom in Christ. You know, I, I can come to Genesis, continue to recognize I'm a sinner, continue to recognize that I'll never be able to love my wife properly. But God does, and, and there's freedom in that. Freedom that I don't have to, you know, struggle. He's finished it already. Every day is a new beginning, and he offers hope. And where is that hope at? The hope is at the cross, which brings honest, perspective, gratitude through its truth. And then you can live that life in that truth and be realigned with it. Lastly, you know, thanks so much for listening to me. Um, lastly, I wanted to share a scripture real quick. That scripture is John 16, 33, and it says, I have said these things to you, that in me, in Christ, you may have peace. In this world, you will have tribulation, but take heart, because I have overcome the world. Thanks.